I'm so excited for today's video. We are doing cheap versus expensive. I'm finally back with the series again, and we are jumping in with a beautiful pair of shoes. So we have the cheap and we have the expensive. Today I'm going to be comparing the Valentino Noir Rockstud T-Stram pumps. T-Stram? <laughs> T-strap. I've had my eye on these pumps for such a long time. Every single time I went to buy them, my size was always sold out. And I got them in a size 37, which is a US size seven. They're so pretty. So these retail for 1,095 US dollars. And that is very expensive. And that's the whole point of these videos. I wanna see if the dupes or the cheaper products are somewhat comparable. Are they a really good dupe? Or are they a good inspirational design that they used from the original? So like I said, I got the size 37, which is US size seven. And in my opinion, they do run true to size. I tried the 6.5 and 7.5 and the seven was the perfect fit. Personally, if you do have a wider foot, I would just go up half a size. Obviously go try it on, see how they fit. So the material is all leather, the bottom, the inner, the upper, everything is leather. And then I love these little rock studs. They're not completely black. They're a beautiful gun metal. The heel size is four inches or hundred millimeters. So the heel is a little bit taller, but they're actually very, very comfortable. I wore these for the entire day and and my feet were not cramping, they were not hurting, didn't create any blisters, which is very amazing. So the quality of this shoe, I would hope it would be immaculate, especially for the price point. And the reason why they're so comfortable is the quality. The leather is stunning. It's very soft when you put the shoe on, but still very sturdy. And you can feel the quality when you slide your feet into these shoes. And then you have the beautiful stitching all around. There's nothing sticking out. It's nice and soft. And I do like that the sides of the little pumps, they come up to a good point of your foot where it's not gonna dig in and create blisters. So I really appreciate that. And then the T-straps, they're very comfortable. I love that there's adjustable straps and the buckle is stunning. Everything just screams quality when you look at it up close. And the weight of it is very minimal, but it just feels really good. It's a really good feel type of shoe. <laughs> and looking closer at the shoe, like my favorite thing is glue lines that always gets me because if I see glue lines or any kind of gapping, that means the shoe will fall apart faster than it should. I don't see any glue lines. Even the heel is perfect, the way it's sitting and there is no gapping anywhere, which is exactly how it should be. I mean, you would hope so. <laughs> so let's compare the dupe and I'm basically going to run through the same things and see how they compare. So I got these for $53.98, same size, which is size seven. And this was, just somebody that I saw, Christy. I wanted to buy it from Caitlin Pan or Pan. She's very popular with the Valentino dupes and she makes pretty much all of them. I wanted to see if a cheaper one and she usually runs around $120 like per shoes. So I wanted to see what these ones look like. And this is by a different person. Wait, hold on. It says Caitlin Pan but with a C. So somebody is trying to mimic Caitlin Pan cause her name is with a K. These are the ones that I got from her. So somebody's trying to mimic her with a C, but not with a K. That is hilarious. Somebody. Somebody's trying to mimic a dupe. That is the first one for me. Double dupe, you guys. Wow, double dipping. All right, oh, okay, cool. A rock stud fell off. There's a rock stud right here in the box. Where is it from? Where are you from? Oh, another one is coming off right here. I think this is just an extra one. Yeah, the quality right away you can see is completely not top notch, but we did pay only $53 for this. So I got these also in a size seven, like I said. They are supposedly made out of leather for the upper and the inner sole, and then the bottom is rubber. As you can see, it's a completely different color, and I'm actually very surprised they don't smell that good. This color is a little bit, it's not as dark and it's a little bit more shinier compared to the Valentinos. The Valentinos are completely black. They're more matte and they're not as shiny. Looking at the leather, the leather is obviously cheaper on this. So you're gonna get a lot more texture and it's not as smooth and the color is not as vibrant. And then looking at the bottom, the platform, it's a lot thicker. Because the Valentinos are all leather, black leather, it's very seamless and it just looks very well crafted. The point of toe is very nice. It looks very even. Looking at the T-straps, very similar, but then again, they're a lot thicker in width compared to the Valentinos, so they're not gonna be as flattering. It's a little bit more intense around your foot. And then of course, the rock studs, they're already falling off and they look very cheap and very plasticky, which 
is not that great. And the heel is supposedly four inches. Let's compare the heels. The Caitlin Pond is a little bit taller and it's a little bit wider. I didn't try these on yet, so I'm actually really interested to see if they are true to size. So let's put them on. These shoes, the dupes are definitely not true to size. I would go down to half a size at least. There are a lot of gaps. So from the very front around the point of toe, you can see the toe is just kind of like swimming in there. There is way too much room. The T strap sits very very, very weirdly on the foot because this is a lot shorter and the material, the leather is not as stretchy or soft. It starts pulling when you walk or stand. It pushes away from your foot, which doesn't conform with the Valentinos. This T-strap just kind of sits beautifully on your foot. It just kind of hugs everything around. Honestly, as I wear these shoes, they're not scratching anywhere. The material feels nice and soft. It feels comfortable around the edges. It doesn't go up too high. It doesn't sit too low. I've tried on different dupes where this portion right here where it sits around your toes is so low that your toes kind of stick out a little bit more than it should and starts rubbing against your toes and it's super uncomfortable. You get crazy blisters and then other ones, they just sit up way too high, which doesn't look as flattering. These ones actually are very quite comfortable. I'm surprised. So I'm touching the insole of the shoe and there's, you guys hear that? There's a gap and it's not glued down all the way. So if you wear it a lot of the time and you're gonna keep walking back and forth, you are gonna create probably a bigger gap and the insole is gonna come out faster. Versus the Valentinos, they're super smooth. There are no gaps, which is incredible. The one thing I don't like about the shoe right away, and it's very unflattering when you do put it on, this sides right here, it just kind of sags down. It doesn't stay up straight. It doesn't conform to your foot versus the Valentinos. As you see, it's a lot thinner and then it just stays up nice and straight because the leather is far better in quality. So that way when you do walk, your foot doesn't look wider than it really is. And it kind of just hugs your foot in place and helps it stay when you do walk. It kind of reminds me of race cars where they have those bucket seats and it kind of hugs you in place if you go around corners. That's kind of what the shoe is. It hugs your foot in place when you do walk and just kind of makes it more comfortable. So look at the quality of the shoe. I gotta keep in mind, these are only 53 US dollars from Amazon, which is prime shipping. And if you don't like them, you just return them and you get free returns. Like, I mean, that's, that's amazing. Supposedly the material is all leather and then the sole is rubber. So if it's already leather, I mean, that's pretty good. It's gonna last you a lot longer than some kind of shoes that's a poly blend. The sole of the shoe, which is rubber, this is the type of rubber that's very slippery. So it's, you're gonna have a hard time walking on a lot of surfaces, so be careful with that. You can see a lot of bumps, outline of the shoe, the way they cut it. It's not uniform to the actual shoe size, the upper, and then the heel, the rubber goes farther out. It's a little bit wider than the heel, so that makes it look not as flawless and seamless. It makes it look cheap. So looking at the glue lines, they're pretty bad. They're everywhere and there's a lot of gaps, which is really unfortunate because these shoes are gonna fall apart sooner rather than later. And then the one thing you notice right away are the rock studs. They're very, they look very plasticky, they look very cheap, and the color is not as beautiful, it's not as opaque. And then the one thing I noticed right away when I just took him out of the box was where they cut the leather. The leather on the inside is white, so it looks like this leather got painted. The Valentinos, everything is black and it just it's very seamless there's no random white lines all of these flaws that i'm talking about the glue line the rough cuts the leather not being as great quality this is all that's expected in a 53 dollars shoe it would be really crazy if this shoe was far better than this shoe these people would be out of business so do i recommend these if you are looking for something that looks like Valentinos, yes, these are a great option. $53, that's amazing. And I think you'll really enjoy this. Like I said, the only thing, you might have to try a couple of sizes before you find your true size. So overall, I hope you guys liked this cheap versus expensive comparison, the Valentinos and let me know if you already have a pair of these, how you like them, and if you are gonna try them out. Because I think these are stunning. They're very versatile and you can wear them with so many different looks, outfits, and you can wear them pretty much all year round if you don't live where it snows. <laughs> Thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.